că acestu tot drugarii e ključo problem za izgraštanje tu na zrealo socialistice skupšte. I am guys in a small municipality here in the northern part of the Bulgarian Black Sea coast which is called Kavarna. I am here to show you your typical communist bus station. Now it's falling apart but that's a chance to see and to imagine how a communist bus station was arranged and looked like because the building is still sitting nice. although I don't give it much time it will surely fall apart in the next five to ten years look these are signs from when it was last in use which was in the 2000s at some point Bus to Dobrich, General Toshevo, and some villages were going from this sector, which is number two, number one. There, you have the lights, red and green. I remember when they were still functioning. Now, it's all gone, and this is probably the best chance to show you how it looked like because rest of them you see are gone of this construction and here you see the cables you can see the cables back back here number three to some villages around the town and this is the building this building was very beautiful during the communist time. Now uh, it was uh, used in the recent years for some shops, for some administration and stuff like that. There is something like a hotel up there. I don't know about the status of that hotel. I wouldn't stay there for sure. Look at the situation, garbage, vegetation. Nobody's taking care of it. And the reason that nobody is taking care of it, even the municipality, is that because it's um, it's been sold to a private buyer and it's um, it's them, those buyers who decide what to do with this building. And as much as I know they haven't come up with uh, with an idea but uh, guys this was sold at a time when everything was expensive to buy here in this city it was booming a lot of real estate was was sold and bought and um, the hopes for the future were quite high that was before the economic crisis of uh, 2008 now the things are different this uh, town is gradually being left by its citizens who are migrating westwards and they just don't need something like this and I doubt that they need a new shopping center here either because you see that there was also built during communism that building and it haven't been finished for a long time but during the boom of the private property here there were some investors local investors bought that building and finished it and now it's a huge shopping center which is unfortunately mostly empty so not too many people want to to use that so looking at this from the same perspective as being I don't know either a hotel or office building it will be a bit of overkill for this small town which is of around maybe 11,000 inhabitants right now 
this here was when they last um, used to sell tickets I am trying to give you a peek from inside it didn't look like this of course this is all new that's been built inside these walls and stuff but there inside you can see the cashiers you can see the the selling points and how it looked like during communism i was i remember it was uh, functioning well even in the 90s in the beginning of the 90s i was staying online there to buy a ticket to get to my grandparents who live in the villages nearby but it's all abandoned and rotting right now here they try to do some business they were letting these these sales to some private companies to sell clothes and everything possible now it's just now it's just falling apart as you can see this building hasn't seen any renovation for a long time it's a bit better on the other side on the front side this was the back side of the bus station but on the front side which had murals and stuff it's a bit different and there is a small cafe you can buy a banichka here you can get your coffee or tea in the morning right now it used to be this 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 part used to be a, a I would say it was a Slatkarnica. It was very nice. Now it's totally different. Let's let me show you here. You see? You see up there? It still says Aftogara. Aftogara is the Bulgarian word for bus station. And this is of course the original sign from the communist time. And there was a, a huge logo of the company, the communist company. Which was something like a B, Bulgarian B letter. But it's now gone. And what you can see now is just things falling apart. But it was a interesting, huge building with a nice mural inside. I remember the mural. Now it's very hard to, to show you that mural because it's not there. And it's either blocked from this side, from this wall. I can't even tell you what it has been used for for the last time when it was news. Um, it's very really different from before. It's just set. You see, it's been renovated, so I'm not so bad right now. Some colors, but this guy was a was a huge um, was a huge hole, and there were tables with uh, with chairs all around so it's going all the way so the people can buy their stuff there and then go and take their their cake on the other side and i remember as a child as a schoolboy it was all very cheap you could come here and buy a little bandage or something else for one quarter of a left and um, and enjoy your meal this used to be a bike shop it's now closed as i can see or not oh it's closed it was also used this this part of the building during communism i don't really remember what it was before honestly because this town is no bus station right now and that was the last one 
I don't think it's functioning right now. They had some problems. With paying rents and stuff. But as I can see there are still some buses coming and going. So maybe, maybe it works. Again. But imagine a municipality without a bus station. This is Kavarna today. And Kavarna before was this enormous bus station. But you know how many sectors? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Seven sectors. But this wasn't a sector here, it has never been one. So seven sectors before. And now just a couple of buses coming and going to the villages and mainly to the two big cities Varna and Dobrich and that's it.